Hey y'all, it's Tiana Alexandra and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I made one year of being locked as of March 11th, 2022. And as you can see from the title, I'll be detailing my lock journey. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you know that this is not my first rodeo. This is actually my second set of locks. So I thought it was only right to include a little bit of my first lock journey within this video. It is because of my first set that I was able to make it to a year locked with set number two. So I'm not even gonna hold y'all, let's just get right into it. In high school, I was very experimental with my hair from skunk stripes to shave size to pixie cuts and anything that I wanted to do that gave me the creative reign to express myself through my tresses. After I gave birth to my daughter, I decided that I didn't want to rock the short hair anymore. I was actually going to try to grow it out before I cut it again because that's just how I was. So after two years, 2018, my hair looked like this. I had got it to a very nice length and it was continuously growing. So May 15th of 2019, I had just gotten my hair cut after a season of neglecting it. I was in school for electronic video production and your girl was stressed out. A few months later, I decided to impulsively lock my hair. So I started them October 16th of 2019. And since my hair was shorter, my shrinkage was shorter as well which I will say was uncomfortable for me. I did not like how short the shrinkage was and it just made me feel a little insecure. My lock journey ended March 14th of 2020 when I decided to comb them out. The last time I straightened my hair was January of 2021, but there was one thing I wanted to do before I locked my hair up for real, and that was to try soft locks. Now, when I did the initial braid down for the soft locks, I just thought it was so cute. It made me miss my locks. I wanted to just let those braids lock up right then and there, but the parts were too big. So when I finished doing my soft locks, they were heavy, y'all. Those things are heavy as hell, let me tell you. I swear, I probably took those things out within, how many days is that? It was not long at all. I was trying to like see it through because I had put my time and effort and energy into putting them in and I was also my own walking advertisement. So when people would ask me who did my hair and I would say me, you know, that got me clientele as well. But I could not do it y'all. I'm like, uh, I think I'm gonna grow my own. Like, let's just start this because I like the look, but I feel like it would look so much better with my own hair, which led me to start my locks soon after. So now let's go through my second lock journey. Tonight, I am starting my second set of locks. I will be doing the finger coil method, literally coiling with my finger because I don't know how to do the comb on myself. Like it's a little tricky. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And let's get started. This is what they look like. I made them bigger than my last ones because I don't want micro locks. They are small. I think they average, no key. Like the average small. June 9th of 2021, I got my hair done by a friend who does locks. So when I got home, I added a braid in lock extension just so I can add some length and some color to my hair and make myself feel more comfortable with going out that night. I didn't start actually documenting my lock journey like I am now until I reached five months. And that was because I left off at month five with my last set. So I just wanted to make sure I was able to hop over that curve without giving up again before I started to, you know, put it out there. August of 2021, you could see I could still stretch my hair pretty far. It hadn't began to, you know, condense itself and shrink as much and it made me miss my loose natural hair. But anytime I thought about the blow drying process of doing my loose natural hair, it just quickly made me snap back into reality and that thought was done for. Now, some of these next clips are clips that you all have probably already seen, especially if you have watched my videos. But again, this is when I started documenting my lock journey and putting it 
out there for you all to see. I am finally here at month 12 and this is what that looks like for me. I'm just extremely proud of myself for making it past month five in this lock journey and seeing it all the way through to one year and I'm looking forward to the years to come with my locks so hopefully I don't do anything crazy okay because I do not have the desire to comb my locks out I hope that you got good insight on my journey with this video and that it encourages you to stay on your path or that it encourages you to start your own journey so with that being said I will see you all next time thank you for watching I so appreciate it bye <laughs>